suddenly they started to come off the track. Some of them headed straight for the water tower. The water tower creaked and wobbled. Then it started to tip. The water tower crashed down across the runway. Luckily, no one was hurt. The runway's cracked, cried Percy, and the track is blocked. The airport manager inspected the runway. Unless it can be repaired, the aeroplane will have to go back, he said. Trust the steam to mess things up, oil diesel. The diesels were very cross. They had put up with stinky steam engines all day. Now Thomas had ruined everything. The steamies were cross too. The aeroplane was getting closer. The workmen started to mend the runway. We will need George the steamroller to finish the job, the foreman cried. But I can't get past these trucks, moaned Thomas. And George is too far away and too slow to come here by himself. The airport manager called for Harvey to clear the tracks. But Harvey was on the other side of the island. He would never get to the airport on time. Thomas thought it was all his fault. Now I'll never see an aeroplane, moaned Percy. Thomas suddenly had an idea and he puffed quickly away. Thomas was sure that Diesel 10 could clear the track. I hope I can get Diesel 10 to help us, puffed Thomas. Diesel 10 was very scary, but asking him to help was the only way to save the airport. Thomas needed to be very brave. Excuse me, Thomas puffed nervously. <laughs> Diesel 10 growled loudly. Um, excuse me, Thomas puffed again. What do you want? snapped Diesel 10. Thomas told Diesel 10 all about the block track. Why would I help a steamy? he grumbled. Because if the aeroplane doesn't land, there will be no holiday makers, puffed Thomas. Then, none of the engines will be useful. Maybe I will help, growled Diesel 10. Later. But we need your help now, puffed Thomas, or all the engines will have worked for nothing. You'll be the most useful engine of all, Thomas added. All right, snarled Diesel 10. I'll help. Thomas was glad he'd asked Diesel 10. Diesel 10 was grumpy, but like all engines, he still wanted to be useful. The workman had mended the runway. We need George the steamroller quickly, the foreman cried. The runway is still too bumpy. Thomas and Diesel 10 were puffing as fast as they could. Where's that scaredy steamy, grumbled Harry. Puffed away after he messed things up muttered Bert. But then Thomas arrived. It's Thomas, gasped Mavis. And he's with Diesel 10. Harry and Bert couldn't believe what they were seeing. Not so scared after all, puffed Percy. Before long, Diesel 10 was busy clearing wreckage into the waiting trucks. Thomas shunted them away. I never thought I'd see the day, said Bert. Thomas and Diesel 10 working together while grind my gears, said Harry. 